the gospel reflection of the day from the congregation of the Daughters of St. Paul. As the day begins, listen, reflect and live the word of God, the best food ever for the storm. It is the 16th Sunday in Ordinary Time, 23rd July 2023. Today we reflect on the theme, God's Patience and Our Impatience. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 13, verses 24 to 26. Jesus put another parable before the crowd, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be likened to a man who sowed good seed in his field. While everyone was asleep, his enemy came and sowed weeds all through the wheat, and then went off. When the crop grew and bore fruit, the weeds appeared also. In the Gospel of today, Jesus is warning us that as we follow him, we must live with opposition, with evildoers who will try to obstruct us in our spiritual journey. But also, he consoles us by telling us that if we persevere in spite of this opposition, we will triumph on the day of reckoning. We instinctively divide ourselves into good and evil, friends and enemies. The consequence of such a distinction is intolerance and a desire to solve immediately whatever tensions arise from them. The Gospel tells us to accept with peace of mind the presence of evil in the world and invites us to recognize the weeds in our own hearts. It assures us that the love of God will one day destroy it. Today's parable is Christ's answer to the question so frequently asked. Why does God permit evil to triumph so often in this world? Why are the wicked allowed to prosper? The triumph of the wicked is short-lived. The reward of the Christian who suffers from their wickedness is everlasting. The very wickedness and injustice of the evildoers are one of the ways that God uses to perfect his chosen ones. In the parable, the wheat does not destroy the wheat. It only makes it more difficult for the wheat to grow to maturity. So it is with the Christian. No one can take his faith from him, but living up to it is made more difficult by the evil influence and bad examples of sinners. The patience of the farmer in letting the wheat grow on until harvest exemplifies the infinite mercy of God towards sinners. The wheat could not change its nature but the sinner can change his ways, and God gives him every chance and every help to do this up to his last moment of life. Almighty and ever-living God, you have sown your seed of truth in our world, within your church and in our lives. May we always listen to your word and respond to it wholeheartedly. Reveal to us the many lies of the evil one, so that we can reject them with all our hearts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You've been listening to the Gospel Reflection for today from the Congregation of the Daughters of St. Paul. Remember to listen, reflect and live the Word of God, the best food ever for this world.